Okay, a giant lurks beneath the temple. Uh, not too sure which one this is yet, but we'll figure it out. It's over there. Right, let's jump out of the temple. I always used to like doing this, because I never used to like riding the horse out of the temple. So I just run towards the balcony and jump off the balcony. You can jump off the balcony onto the horse as well. It's pretty cool. Lose a bit of HP, not to worry. And then the horse comes and finds you super quick. Because the horse is pretty good. There we go. So we're now looking towards a different... Oh, and when you jump on him when he's running, it does that awesome animation, right? Oh, I didn't do it. You get, like, side-saddled and climb on him. It looks pretty cool. Okay. What do we have here? Keep your eyes wide. Not that it helps. It's going to suck later on when I go back to 60 frames per second after playing this. It's going to make everything look weird and super fast. Some trees and stuff, some rocks. Some kind of structure in the distance. It's got a spire of some kind. We got anything here? Can't see anything. Any uh any lizards? It would have been cool if there was, you know, maybe platforming places that led to equipment and weapon upgrades and what have you. I thought that would be a sweet addition. And maybe there were, I just never found them. But I feel like they hid everything behind the time trials and I don't think that was a good choice. Which I've uh, already mentioned. Yeah, I don't remember what this one is. I remember this wood though. This place looks great. Butterflies, well, minus the... Uh, blurriness. And a lot of people don't understand it because you're not used to higher frame rates, guys, and I can appreciate that you don't see a problem with this right now, but... Uh, have you ever been really sleepy and your eye can't quite pull focus? So when you try and look at stuff, it, it feels weird and blurry, and you, and you have to like flit your eye around a bit before it comes into focus. Like when you have you ever tried when you're looking out of a train, and you try to focus on the moving images going past the train because it's happening so quickly, your eye can't focus on it right, and you always feel like you're just at the grasp of getting it. That's how I feel when I turn the camera. It feels like I'm essentially shutting my eyes. It's really strange. Look how nice the leaves look. You actually affect them too, which is cool. Very misty and lots of god rays happening right now. The horse is, is refusing to move correctly, so I'm just going to get off it. It's really annoying. Interesting. Imagine getting hunted by the predator in Shadow of the Colossus. That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, I fell. This looks really nice. You know, it's like this game doesn't seem to load either, except for that big, uh, weird animation after you kill the Colossi, because it's teleporting us back. Ooh, I saw a lizard then. It climbed that tree. Oh, has it got a white tail? It does! Finally, we see the white one. You little shit, get back. Oi. It's a little... It's a genius. Where did it go? So I think that this one is a good one. The other ones were casual compared to this, bro. Oh shit, I missed him. Oi! There we go. Let's watch, see if there's a big difference. No. It's the same animation, really, it looks like. Five lines stink? Skink? The fuck's a skink? Is that what they're called? They're not called, like, the skinks, not skunks. Collect a silver-tailed lizard. Even though that says collect a silver lizard tail, because I'm a moron. Defeat any colossal while in reminisce mode? Is everything hidden? Perform all stunts with agro. agro. Pray at all shrines. Complete the game on any difficulty. Complete hard mode in under 5 hours and 41 minutes. Wow, that's interesting. That might be worth making a walkthrough for that. Max out Wonder's health and stamina bars. Obtain all time attack items together as one set. That means doing all the time attack stuff. That's pretty tough. Hmm. 
Anyway. Well, we got one of the silver guys, anyway. It's over there somewhere. Look at the spring. I say spring, it doesn't look very clean, does it? It looks like it's full of algae. Probably get AIDS just drinking it. Don't... I don't know why you've got bare feet, Wanda. You're probably getting all kinds of dysentery in this place. It's forbidden for a reason. It's just a cesspool. It looks nice, though. Ooh, that means there's one of those collectibles, right? Somewhere. There's a gold coin somewhere. I have no idea where it would be, though. Because apparently they're very well hidden. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just telling me I'm close to the Colossi. I don't know. That looks different. Yeah, it definitely looks different to me. I could be wrong. I'm not a big fan of uh, ambiguous collectibles anymore. I like a good map. Yeah, it's over there somewhere, but maybe you have to shoot it out of the tree or something. Do you think they'd do that? They'd make it so that it dangled like a medallion from Resident Evil 4? Because I don't want to waste too much time looking for something I don't know what I'm looking for, because I don't actually know what they look like. I think they're just gold. Some kind of gold thing. Especially when it's, you know, it's not the easiest thing to see. Because every time I turn the camera, I want to turn the game off. Anyway. Oh, I remember this part. This is the cliffside. It's like a bluff that leads out over a, a quarry, right? Yeah, this is very iconic. I think. No, this is not the right place. It looks nice, though. There's, there's a few places in this game that looks a bit like this. Look at that tree. The tree looks awesome. Look how tall those pines are. Oh damn, I forgot about that. What does that mean? I thought doesn't it mean when you've killed the colossi? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that just means I've killed a bunch of colossi. How it changes the sky. God, that looks cool. That's really sweet. I wonder if that inspired like something in the hunter's dream, you know, when all the pillars turn up and the sky gets all fucked up. Because if you don't know, guys and girls, this game, or the the studio that made this game, their games essentially inspired uh, Hidetaki Miyazaki to make games. He said quite publicly that Aiko and potentially Shadows, but more so Aiko, I think, um, were one of the reasons why he wanted to make games. Because of what they what they did with it. This seems silly to do because it's going to drop in the water, right? I'm not really bothered about HP, though. I don't care if I die. If I die, I die, right? Ivan Drago style. There's no real punishment other than I lose some progress. And if I die, it must have been for a pretty good reason. Because so far we've been doing fine, I think. I think the electric guy can kill you. In the water. Maybe it's that. Is it that fight, this one? The electric thing? Because if it is, I'm, I don't like that one. That's one of the colossi that I don't really like. It's a cool idea. It's just it gives me a big pain in the dick on... Ooh, what's this? On the hard mode time trial. Cool. Wow, this looks stunning. This game is very good looking. What is that? Is that a barrel? Oh my god, look at that! It's one of those stupid barrels that you feed Trico. Was that always here, or is this new? I wonder. If that was always here, that's insane. I get the feeling they've added that. How the hell did I find that? I don't find shit like this normally. I'm the guy- Ooh, and that's one of those things, right? That must be one of the collectibles. Yeah, that's it. Dude, it doesn't give you anything on the screen to tell you that you did anything, does it? It's just that little hand thing. 
I've got one now. I kind of wish you didn't have to swap between the weapons, personally. It'd be cool if, like, there was a, a bow button and there was a sword button. But I can understand why they, they have it the way they do. Interesting. Do I have to jump down there? I don't think I've got to jump down there, do I? Just jump and break both my legs. Hmm. Interesting. This is a really nice looking forest. I wish forests looked that good in most games. Yeah, my sword's all fucked up. Does that mean that I'm in the area where the, the Colossi is? I think it does. The more I look at this, the more I'm thinking... Uh, I don't remember this Colossi. Which is good, right? You know? You get to see something new, hopefully. Some surprise from me. Other than... Interesting. I just don't want to be one of those fast ones, those little shit ones. Because there's two Colossi in this game that I always felt was really stupid. It's nice when you see one of them. Because it's like, oh my god, look how small it is. It's, it's a little aggressive one. And then you beat it, you're like, okay, that wasn't too good, but it's whatever. And then you see another one almost identical to it later on. It seems super lazy. I never liked it. Interesting. There was two paths then. This path leads down here. Hmm. Cool. It's cool how the horse finds you. In most games, a horse would be shitty. This is a good horse, this one. It can be a bit, you know, annoying. Ooh, look at the exposure. Damn, that's a bloom and a half. Dude, the lighting does not know what to do right now. Ah. So we were miles away then in there. This can't be a water one. This must be a sandy one. There's only two sandy ones in the game, right? There's the one with the uh, the pyres. The crazy geezers from the ground. And there's a the one that flies. And the one that flies is one of the more technical colossi in the game. Because you have to shoot its sacks. Which is a nice, fun thing. To get it out of the sky. And then falling off it is a massive reset. Like, it's really bad. Falling off the sky one is easily one of the more frustrating aspects of Shadows. I remember getting pissed off as a kid a little bit. Wow, look at this. It's looking crazy. I do love this world though, you know. They give you nothing. They give you absolutely nothing, but I'm all I'm here asking questions about everything. It's crazy. It's the same thing that Souls does so well. It gets you into a place where you, you, you're curious about everything. Because the game really feeds you so little information, and the information that it gives you is so vague. Anyway, let's uh, find this dude. I keep pressing wrong buttons, guys, I'm sorry. My brain correlates. Like, I think I've got so many hours playing Witcher 3, so many hours playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and everything, that when I get on a horse, I want to press a different button. I don't want to press triangle. Pressing triangle on a horse seems really stupid to me. But what can you do? My brain just uh, wants to press the wrong button. Okay. So who is this then? Is this the crazy geyser man? There's a shrine over there. I'm not really bothered about trophies, so I'm not interested in praying at all of them, but if you are, you should totally do that. Which is ironic, because if there was achievements for this game, I would be doing it. The grand hypocrite that is I. Alright, we've got another one over there. And a, a solitary tree, look at that. It's almost like a prairie, a nice rocky yeah. prairie. Ooh, a stop horse, stop, 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 a dozen lizard men, 
Stop moving, hoss. I'm trying to shoot lizards. Alright, here we go. Oh, he knows. He knows. Shit. Got him. Oh, no. This guy's a beast. Literally. There we go. Alright, there's one. I'm going to forget where these are by the time I go to collect. There's two. These must be like the protein bars of, of Wanda's land. Ugh. Sensitivity is a little bit tweaky. There we go. Right, let's go grab some lizards. There's another one over there. There's two more over there. God, they put your shit up so tinily, it's crazy. Like, if you measured your dick via these lizards, you'd have like 20,000 20, lizard long dick, right? Ridiculous. That'd make a lot of men feel better about themselves. As they sink into the ground. You'll notice I pressed the wrong trigger to use the, the bow because my brain is programmed to use the trigger triggers for trigger things. Whereas the PlayStation triggers are so horrendous that everything is mapped to not use them. Because we've all agreed that Sony, for some reason, after PS2, have just lost the ability to design R2 and L2 correctly. And it makes no sense. Because there was nothing wrong with the PlayStation 2 controller, it was perfect. There we go. Like, that's not even showing my grip going up. I'm just collecting them for a laugh at this moment. Did anybody watch Darkseid Phil play this? How well did he do? Because apparently in his first session he did like nine Colossi, which is pretty cool. But when you've played it before, a lot of the, the frustration is is alleviated because it was the mystery that... Chuck hell. Come on! What? Horse! Dude, this is just bullying right now. Oh wow, the horse killed it? That's just strange. Yeah, if there was any combat in this game, it'd probably suck dick. Because swinging the sword is the least fun part of this game. Look how many there are. This is nuts. Shine my sword at you. Probably not getting anything from this, guys. I apologize for wasting your time, but you know. I'm doing it because I can't remember. It's a nice dodge, you little shit. No dodge for you. Look at that. That aim assist. I don't think this game has aim assist. Alright. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it's simply not moving. I don't think I'm getting anything for these. <laughs> Yeah, I think it might be... I don't know. I don't understand. There's like some weird thing. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it doesn't go up. Maybe you're gated about how much strength you can have at a certain point. When I was younger, I believed that it was the white-tailed ones that mattered and the silver-tailed guys, that the ones that actually mattered and the other ones didn't. But I, I just don't know. I'll have to go on GameFAQs and get a bunch of misinformation and start telling you it's gospel. Sounds like a good idea, right? So we've got a shrine just there, and we've got that lone tree that I want to check out. Are we still going this way? Is this still right? No. Ah, it's through that cave. Okay, this is not right. I don't know what colossi this is, but let's let's uh, check the tree out. Trees are a good source of uh, fruit. It is as this way, and as this way it will shall always be. Butchered that one. Here we go. I do like how you can climb the trees. Shit's cool. Okay. Just like playing Conkers, right? Before you can play Conkers, you have to get the Conkers. How do you get the Conkers? By throwing sticks into the tree. Here we go. Or climbing the tree, if you're a good climber. It'd be so easy. Whoa, that horse shit me up then, dude. I thought it was like a dude in a hood stood there staring at me. That was crazy. Starting to see things in the desolation and the isolation. 
Anyway. Let's get back on him and let's go towards that little cave thing. Yeah, I'm quite excited to see which one this is. I can't remember. I wonder what tricks you can do with uh, good old Argo. It must be like... That looked cool. <laughs> when you... Uh... When you jump off something and you land on him, probably counts. Oh, that's interesting. I can't kick the horse when I'm stood on it because, of course, I'm not sat astride its breast to kick its flanks. That's kind of interesting. It does remind me of Teen Wolf, though. This has got super Teen Wolf vibes going on right now. <laughs> oh. The horse kind of dynamically shifts sometimes. It's interesting. It can be quite unwieldy. I suppose everybody just calls it realism, don't they? Oh, it's so realistic. Is it? Here we go. Who is down here? That is the question. I do like rolling downstairs. I don't recommend it, but it looked cool. God, this game looks good! This is one of the nicest looking console games I've seen in a long time. And it's 100% stylistically done as well. It's not just all hardware, which is cool. Who is this? Is this one of the little guys? It has to be a little guy, right? I think it is. Is the fire torches everywhere? There's little fire torches everywhere? It's probably that little... Yeah. No? I can't tell. Who is this? Love that music. Whoa, look at the sensor. Oh shit, he fell! You stupid man! I'm in control of him, but I'm blaming him. I can't believe he did that. That was very dangerous. You're supposed to go that way as well, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You have to do this. Interesting. Yeah, he falls by himself. What a beast. That's cool. I can get behind that. There you go. That is. I love this mechanic. This feels great, all considered. Is this a little shit one? Oh, the door opens. Okay. Because I can't remember how to kill the little shit ones. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not. I yeah, the feeling it is. The tension right now. Oh no! Oh, is it the guy with the beard? As if! I did not think you fought the, the bearded guy this soon. So this is just, he's the same as the first one we killed, but he's got a big beard. Wow, he looks awesome. Look at this dude. He's gonna punch me. Ow! You dick! Why would you do that? Right, what do I do? I know you've gotta climb his beard, right? I think. Can he step on me? Can you lift your left leg or just your right leg? Which leg do you lift? Oh, he doesn't lift any of them. He's lazy. Right. Let's have a look. Can I climb this? I can. Oh, I remember now. I remember. So he breaks through two, two of these barriers, and then over here there's a hole in the wall. You stand in the hole in the wall, and he leans down, you grab his stupid beard, and you climb his stupid beard, right? Is that what you do? I think that's what you do. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this is it. I remember him now. I thought this guy was way later, I did. Dun, 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 dun. You can totally tell that uh, Otani was the guy who did the Gundam Wing soundtrack and the Outlaw Star soundtrack because he has a lot of the same flourishes. Probably one of my favourite composers. This is arguably the best game soundtrack that exists, I think. And that has some pretty steep competition too, because I'm a big fan of uh, Uematsu from the Final Fantasy series and, and a few other guys who've made great things. Oh, interesting, he doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> Oi, you dumb asshole, I'm over here. Here we go, let's shoot him. Oi. Over here, big lad. That's right. Come get the, come to the party, Richter. Oh, wow, you can hurt him with the bow? 
I didn't know that. And if I did, I forgot. I'm, did I shoot his... Oh, I must have shot his weak points. He's got weak points on his arm. Oh, yeah. That was a happy accident. A bit of serendipity. Is he confused? Oh, here it comes. Wow. Can I climb on his hand? There it is. Look at him. What I tell you? I got a pretty good memory for stupid shit, it seems. Sexy music. Right. Can we get up on his back so I can stand up? Look how muscly this guy is. Got them epic traps. Alright, where's his, uh... Shit. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button to grab. I'm having a button crisis. Put your sword on, you twat. Sword, please. Thank you. Alright, here we go. So we know they're on his... He's got those weird, like, star tattoos. Here we go. Before you get any funny ideas, pal, have a nice big sword to the brain. Yeah, we're not taking chunks out of this fella. This guy's got some HP. The camera's far too close right now. You lose all sense of spectacle when it's up Wanda's bum hole like this. Because one of the things you can do is you can watch the Colossi's movement to know when you can stab and when you can't stab, and that can be a really good strategy. But it's tough to do that when all I'm doing is staring at Wanda's ass, like some kind of strange homoerotic poetry. Here we go. So... Oh, the music's too good. Do, 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 do. I can't see where those other special places were. I'm having a tough time climbing this guy at the moment. Wanda's uh, he's getting flailed about. Something fierce. Can we stand up? No, we cannot. Right, time to jump. Jump, Wanda. There you go. Right. Oh, he fell over. Interesting. This guy's just tricky. Oh, I saw it. It's on the bottom of his back. Okay. I can do this. I can't see though, fuck! <laughs> there we go. Wow, he's going crazy. Need to be careful here though, when we start getting weak, we need to watch ourselves. Let's try to get us off, is he moving? I'm going to go and reset now, just because I'm getting a little low. And I don't want to fall off him if I can help it. Climb, Wanda, please. Please, dude. I'm going to fall. Yeah. Saw that coming. I couldn't climb. He was too busy, like, flailing and shit. That was unfortunate. we got to be careful now so he doesn't step on us. Goes back to the other music. Yeah, once you get to kind of like the top of your upper back, where it's not quite flattened out, but it's angular, if you let go of the grip, Wanda will stand. In the position I was there, because he kept flailing instead of climbing, uh, if I'd have let go, I would have just dropped. So my stamina got to the point where it was really low, and when I did let go to try and run up and hope I was high enough, it just threw me off. He doesn't know I'm here either. This is a stupid one, this one. Here he comes. He's got to straighten up before he can do his pre-programmed animation, I think. Yeah, there it is. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that was a bad jump. Not the best jump I've ever made. You know, please, little Santa beard. I love his rings. I love that they got jewelry and stuff. They're so characterized. They have more personality to the claw side than half the characters in Final Fantasy XII. It's awesome. That fur. Right. <gasps> that was dangerous. It worked though. It'd be cool if there was a skillful way to take less stamina off when uh, you're being shook around. Like if there was some kind of quick recovery button or some kind of, you know, not get shook around button if you do it right. Like just then. Oh, it's okay, it vanished. I was just about to get another perfect stab off. It was going really well. 
and then he and then he shook me. Yeah, climbing this guy's back seems to take forever. Look at that. And if you're getting knocked around, Wanda just he wants nothing to do with it. The shit lasts a while too. That I can stand up on. That's cool. Oh, I'm falling. Stop it. Here we go. Is that across the other side? Is it his beard? Dude, it'd be epic if I could stab his beard, but I can't see it. Oh wow, look how dark it got. It's somewhere beneath us. I reckon it's this side. Do, 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 do. Do you see it? Is it under his beard? That'd be so funny. He's just, he's not climbing the way I'm, I'm telling him to climb, and he's just getting flailed about. It's unfortunate. So my stamina right now is getting rocked for no really good reason other than just awkwardness. Maybe it's the other side of his back. Hmm. I don't see it. it. Can't be on this side then. Because when we were on the ground, we could see that he had two potential weak points on his arms, if you remember. There you go. I looked just then, I tried to do a jump, and it cock blocked the jump. It's almost like there's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's some kind of weird cap there. I don't really know what it is. Don't step on me, please. There it is. No iframes in that dodge, son. Where's this shit? Is it on his leg? I don't know. I'm confused. This is cool. I've got to find it. Maybe the hand. Be cool. I don't really like how this sword. Is it on his hand? It's on his hand, right? It's on like cock level. Oh, is it on the inside of his hand? No, there's no hair there. You can't climb that. He puts his hand down, though. You see that? I could have got on his hand. I think it might be his hand. That would be sweet if it was. Because I was not thinking hand. I was thinking shoulder, but it's not here. Right. Go on, get it, Wanda. One more. One more. Come on. There he goes with a big whip back. After that, I should be able to stand, right? around. Can I go? No, you can't. That, that was a... Uh... He doesn't grab anything. Okay, no worries. I tried to jump towards his hand just then, and the input just left me. Left my body. Yeah, it's his hand. He puts his hand down. We're gonna get on it. Cool. I don't remember that at all. That was sweet. It's a nice play on your expectations. Goes. Oh damn! Oh, so, whoa! That was weird. I was holding the wrong button again. It's my fault, but that just felt strange. <laughs> okay, fella. This is gonna be easier to swap me off. One would think, because all he has to do is move his arm. Dun, 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 dun. There he goes. That was a good battle. Knocked me off a few times. Tomb of the Giant. Oh my god, guys. Does that have some kind of relationship to Dark Souls? This is kind of interesting because in the original game, wasn't the Grip Gorge pink? and it was a circle, and it was the circle that got bigger, it didn't get like a, a strand off it. So they've changed the UI, it seems. Which they were always going to do, because the Colossi's HP looked different too.
Interesting at this point, there seems to be less convincing by Dorman and just get on with it. A ruin hidden in the lake. This is the water one, right? Yeah, look at it. A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. Yeah, this is probably my least favourite colossi. 